walong cruise sa tuktok ng dalawang pylon towers ng CCLEX pinailawan bilang pagunita sa ikalimang daang anibersaryo ng kristyanismo sa bansa. Yan at iba pang update sa 30 billion peso Cebu Cordova Link Expressway Project. Panuorin at alamin. The eight crosses on top of the Cebu Cordova Link Expressway's twin pylons have been illuminated for a historical commemoration of the 500th anniversary of Christianity in the Philippines. Cebu Archbishop Jose Palma led the blessing and ceremonial lighting of the Sicilex crosses last Thursday, April 15. The event was attended by top officials of the Grantors Labella and Vice Mayor Michael Rama for Cebu City and Mayor Mary Teresito Cho and Vice Mayor Simjil Dino Sitoy for Cordova Town. It can be remembered that the Cebu Cordova Link Expressway or CCLEX hit another milestone after Tower 1 has reached its final height at 145 meters last February, which means the two main bridge pylons are now completed. The construction of Tower 2 on the side of Cordova Town was finished a month earlier. One of the iconic features of CCLEX, a 40-meter crosses on all four sides on top of the two main pylons, is inspired by the cross planted by Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan 500 years ago in Cebu and symbolize Cebu being the cradle of the birth of Christianity in the Philippines. In a virtual message during the ceremony, Metro Pacific Tollways Corporation Chairman Manuel Pangilinan said, the crosses will serve as beacons of hope and symbols of achievement, something Cebuano should be proud of. Pangilinan thanked MPTC's partners, the local government units of Cebu City and Cordova, contractors and subcontractors, and the workers for working on the CCLEX, a project he described as a modern engineering marvel. As of March 2021, the overall engineering procurement and construction contract of the Cebu Cordova Link Expressway project is at 72.73%, while construction progress alone is at 66.89%. The project, which is targeted to be substantially completed by the end of 2021, is undertaken under a public-private partnership framework with the local governments of Cebu City and Cordova Municipality. Installation of stay cables on CCLEX main bridge deck is still ongoing with 28 out of the required 56 stay cables already installed. The installation of the stay cables is being done alongside the construction of the bridge deck. At the Cebu South Coastal Road on the ramp section of the project, all its piers or structural support have been finished as well as the portal frame. At the Cebu South Coastal Road on ramp, the construction of the piers and headstocks are still ongoing, with concreting of roadway also being done. On the construction of the permanent pedestrian footbridge, it is already completed following the installation of all six prefabricated walkways. The 200-meter footbridge will start near the U-turn slot of the South Road Properties Welcome Tower and will serve as pedestrians' access to the sidewalk of the CSCR on-ramp. Sidewalks will be provided in the entire stretch of CCLEX. At the Cebu and Cordova viaducts, the installation of gear dares is underway. The embankment works of CCLEX has also now reached the town of Cordova, particularly at the Mactan Circumferential Road, which is the end of the CCLEX connection in the town. Placing of filter and armor rocks are ongoing. 
the causeway as well as laying of the vent pipes. 20 units of vent pipes will be scattered along the causeway stretch to equalize the flow of seawater in the Cordova Channel. As the four low-lying bridges, all of its foundation works have been completed. These bridges will serve as access the Cordova fishermen to the fishing ground. The Cebu Cordova Link Expressway, an 8.5 km tall expressway, aims to connect Cebu City to Mactan Island through the town of Cordova. Set to be a new landmark in the country, Sicilex will have two lanes in each direction that will provide a safe, quick, and scenic passage to an estimated 50,000 vehicles daily, easing the traffic in the existing Marcelo Fernand Bridge and the Mandawe Mactan Bridge. CCLX has a design speed of 80 km per hour and a navigational clearance or height of 51 meters so as to allow large vessels to pass underneath the bridge. The Cebu Cordova Link Expressway Corporation or CCLEC, a wholly owned subsidiary and toll road arm of the Metro Pacific Investments Corporation, is undertaking the bridge project under a joint venture agreement with Cebu City and Cordova, a municipality to the south of Mactan Island. Once completed, CCLEX is seen not only to reduce traffic and make traveling more convenient, but also spur trade activities and open greater economic opportunities for Cebu, as well as bring economic opportunities to the coastal town of Cordova located in Mactan Island. Being one of the biggest infrastructure project venture, this 30 billion peso bridge project is envisioned to further drive Cebu's economic growth. Aside from CCLEX, major infrastructure projects coming to Cebu includes the bus rapid transit expected to be partially operational this year, the 73.8 km Metro Cebu Expressway scheduled for completion in 2022, and the new Cebu International Container Port projected to be completed in 2025. What do you think on the update of the Cebu Cordova Link Expressway project? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell.